Hey everyone, welcome back to another short video. Now a lot of you have been asking about these things. These are my fence mounted solar panels. Now this is a bit of a DIY system. Um, I put it together using some old solar panels that came off my roof and I've been running it now for a couple of months. Now I did say in the initial video that I was gonna run it for a whole year and then I'd tell you what the results were at the end. But some of you got in touch and said, can we have some interim data? Um, so I've been running it now since May. So let's dig into exactly how the system works and we'll look at the data and I'll show you what I've seen so far. Now, the system itself comprises of four 200 and I think they're 205 watt panels. They're about 14 year old now. Um, there's another one there. And actually, if you look over the back there, you'll see there's another two. So the orientation of these panels is roughly south-southeast. No, sorry, east-southeast. So somewhere between east and south um, is the general orientation. But as you can see, these two here, they generally point east-southeast. And those two over on the fence back there, they're pointing more towards the south. But somewhere between east and southeast. Now, they then run into a microinverter from a company called EcoFlow. Um, this inverter can handle up to a maximum of 800 watts. Um, we've got approximately 800 watts of panels here configured in two strings. The strings are in parallel with each other just to keep the voltage level down. If you want to know more about that, check out my previous video. They then run into a series of batteries. We've got about seven kilowatts of batteries attached to them. So we can capture and store just about everything that these panels are, are producing. Now, as again, their, their orientation um, is almost vertical. You can actually see if I, if I head over to this panel here, um, underneath the panel, he says trying to hold his phone, you'll notice a little bracket there. That is tipping the panel up by about five degrees. Now that's not a huge amount. It doesn't really make that much difference, but it gives you a tiny little bit extra, and we're all about capturing all of the extra that we can. Obviously, the ideal thing would be to have these out at about 35 to 40 degrees, but then that would be blocking the flower bed below them, um, and the flowers wouldn't get any sun, and my wife would get upset with me. So with that, let's go and dive into the data and take a look at what these things have been producing. So this is the EcoFlow PowerStream app. Um, a very nice app. You can see here it's it's pretty easy to see what's going on. We've got uh, 137 watts of solar coming in right now. We're augmenting that with another 193 watts from the battery, and that's supplying through the inverter to my house a base load of 330 watts. Now, that's constant. That doesn't change depending on loads in the house. If there's not 330 watts needed, then it would export that to the grid. But 330 watts is about my base level, and you can tune this, you can take it down, you can take it up, whatever works for your particular house. Now, if I pull down a little bit, you can see here, since installing the system in May, the system reckons it saved me nearly 70 pounds. So not a huge amount of money, um, but given I had all the components anyway, um, and it's just, just a case of hanging the, the panels on the fence, it's 70 pounds of free money, or almost free money. Um, if we actually click in, we can uh, we can look at the individual months, but so I'm going to go to a month view. And let's go back to the beginning in May when we first installed it. Not a huge amount. We only produced 3.8 kilowatts. If we go into June, um, we had a pretty bad June, to be totally honest. Um, there was a lot of days where it was just cloudy, not generating a huge amount of power. But you can see on some days we were up almost a sort of three kilowatts on and then on the bad days we were down at sort of half a kilowatt so again very very changeable month um 51.63 kilowatt hours uh generated over june um, again nice free power um and again if i look at july again you can see in the early part of july there we had some really bad days for about a week um, and then it sort of settled in at about two to two and a half kilowatts per day so again, 45 kilowatts in July. I'm hoping August is going to be a lot better. Um, the indications so far don't uh, bear that out. But again, we've had some some days at sort of uh, one and a half kilowatts so far. We'll see as we go into the latter parts of the year. I fully expect this to tail off, um, and we won't be generating very much at all. So as you can see, not a huge amount of power, but 
it's free. The, like I say, the panels used to live on the roof um, rather than dispose of them. We've put them to uh, another use and they are generating some free power. And for people maybe that don't use quite as much electricity as I do, this might be a really good solution if you can't put panels on your roof. For instance, if you live in a rental property or you live in a, an apartment with a balcony, you could hang something like this either on your fence or over the edge of your balcony. So I hope that's been useful. Um, as I say, I will continue to report back on what we're getting at different times of the year. Um, <laughs> apologies for this one. Um, this, is, this is Yogi and Bear. Um, they would actually love it if you'd give us a like and a subscribe. Um, they're probably going to be in more videos because there's nothing they love more than just barging in whenever I'm trying to record something. But with that, I'm going to sign off. I hope you found this useful. If you have, hopefully I'll see you back here for another video real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.